courage, beautiful, wonderful strength. This is strength, having strength, being able to endure many, many hard times and still coming out a winner, still coming out with a lot of growth, a lot of um, strength, endurance, achievement. So you guys are, uh, some of you guys are thinking about how much, how, what a miracle you are and what a miracle your life is right now and how much things are um, happening for you as where maybe you never thought they would happen before. So a lot of you guys are thinking about that or wanting that to happen in your life or you're starting to see the manifestations of, of, of things happening in your life. You're feeling, cur you're feeling courageous. A lot of you are feeling strong, really good, wonderful, wonderful. Oh my gosh, the dream. You guys are going to be living the dream this month. Virgo, whatever you're dreaming about may come true for you this month of August. Uh, I have to take a pause here because I'm feeling that You're going to be taking actions possibly, or you're going to be doing things that are working towards bringing a dream into action this month of June, which is to me saying that the dreams that you have in your mind this month are actually going to start taking effect, whether that be very small, the beginning of it, um, the beginning of this of, of taking steps or the beginning of working on uh, something that is manifesting into your dream. Either way, it's beginning this month for a lot of you guys, your dreams are going to be coming true. You're going to be taking action and you're going to be doing things that are, are bringing in this dream or that are, the, yeah, it's just coming in for you. A lot of you guys. Okay. Wow. We have the comparison card, which is about making a decision. It's about analyzing two different things, um, comparing two different things, trying to figure out a decision possibly to make in regards to two different things. Some of you guys may be having a hard time making a decision as others of you are going to be, you've already done this. You've already compared things. You've already last month or maybe when you see this video, You've already like really done some comparison work, uh, analyzation, comparing two different things. You've already analyzed this in your mind of decided and you made a decision about something and you know the direction in which you want to go. So uh, that's why a lot of you guys uh, are actually manifesting some dreams this month. Um, I think you guys, have, a lot of you guys have reached that, that, you know, you have this courage. A lot of you this is a, this is uh, having the, the strength and courage to endure something very difficult. And this month you are, uh, you've broke through basically this flower, flower has broke through the dirt, the rock, which is impossible, almost impossible. Um, you guys are breaking through this month and your dreams are coming true. Uh, you're going to make a decision. Some of you are making a decision or you've made a decision about something. going with the flow. The outcome is going with the flow. You guys may not be going with the flow. You guys may not be going with the flow. You may be doing things in a very planned way or um, things may be just working out very, very, very well for you. Um, you're, you're not used to that. A lot of Virgos are not used to that. A lot of, a lot of Virgos are not used to going with the flow. Sometimes a lot of you guys like to plan, right? We like to plan things out. We like to analyze. We like to pre-calculate um, risk. We like to plan everything in detail. And um, you may be able to do that this month um, because your dreams are coming true and you have a lot of courage and you've made decisions. You, you know what you want. Um, but this card is saying go going with the flow. So some of you guys are really, you're actually going to let go and just kind of you're going to be able to let go this month and um, let the current, you know, 
lay in the lay in the beautiful water and allow the current to take you where you need to go. Um, and then some other, others of you, you're not going to need to go with the flow because you already made the plans and it's happening. You're going to make, you're going to make it happen. <laughs> you're going to make it happen opposed to sitting back and waiting. So a lot of you guys are actually, cause we have the dream card and, um, whatever your dream is, if it requires you to travel, if it requires you to go somewhere or do something, take action or, um, whatever that may be, it's going to happen this month. All right, so let's get into your reading, Virgo. Uh, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. This is the bottom of the deck card. The Ace of Reverse is here to say that there is some kind of um, communication that's needed. There's some kind of uh, lack of communication, maybe even something being hidden, some truth being hidden, maybe some um, lack of no communi no, uh, no um, cutting people out of your life, cutting things out of your life, people out of your life. Um, this card is here and we'll go ahead and find out more later why it's here. We have the King of Swords. This is the main energy for your reading. Um, this is a, um, air sign. This could be an air sign. It could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. This could be, um, this person's here in the, in the center of your reading. So this person's all about communication. This is, this is a male or female. This person's very mature. They are, they're very wise. They have a lot of information and facts to give you, and they're going to give you the truth. Whether you like it or not, they, and you love it. Virgos, you love the truth. You want to know the truth. You like to analyze things, and you want to know the facts. So this person's here, and they're going to give you everything you need. This is fantastic. They're going to help you. They're going to give you truth, as where I do see this card, Ace of Swords in Reverse, where there may not be any truth. There may be a lack of truth. Um... And so these could be related. Once you get truth, you may be cutting something out of your, cutting people out of your life or cutting, um, uh, counteracting it. So if somebody's, for instance, somebody's not communicating to you or they've cut you out of your life or um, there's been some lies and deception, you guys are going to make up for it because you're going to get this beautiful, you have this beautiful person here who's going to give you a lot of information and facts and good stuff. The card we have crossing you, my gosh, is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is crossing you, so this could be a challenge or an obstacle this month, or not at all. It's just here. And um, this card is all about um, stability, financial stability, f family, money, inheritance from the family, money, um, inheritance in a specific, you know, through your own family being passed down to you, um, whether somebody passed away or not, they can still be giving you inheritance, uh, or a gift that's pretty large. Um, and for some of you Virgos, this is actually a job. This is actually a financial, large financial, uh, job that's coming your way so a lot of you if you've been dreaming about um a, you know a dream job or uh you know a job that you that's that's going to pay give you the stability and finances that you need um it could be coming in for you and it, this this king of swords actually could be bringing it in for you he could be signing giving you the facts about the job um filling you in on the 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 ins and outs of the job and even writing up contracts for the job but this is here, the Ten of Pentacles. I think we should pull clarifying cards if I need to, but for now, it is definitely a good card for you. This is all about, this is this could even be about a marriage. You could be marrying into, um, you know, a wealthy family or just a beautiful, stable family that will take you in as their own, um, to joining families together and um, inheriting the family members and the, fi the financial rewards of that. So you guys have money here a lot. In your recent past, we have the two of wands. So in the recent past, you guys might've been planning your future. You guys have been plan trying to plan your future, deciding what are you going to do with your future? Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? What, 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 which job are you going to take? Which, which, uh, relationship are you going to take? Which, uh, where are you going to move? Um, how do you want your future to look? So you guys have been really, um, 
planning a trip even, planning a trip in the recent past. You've been planning a trip. Some of you guys are planning a trip. So this is in your recent past, a beautiful plans going on. And what's coming towards you right now is the high priestess in reverse. So this could have to do with um, something that may be hidden from you or lack of lack of uh, lack of um, knowing something a hundred percent lack of your intuition kicking in so there may be some kind of uh, mystery going on here um, somebody might be hiding something from you as well um, it could be this ace of swords and the high priestess together which is something that is kind of deceiving or you know something maybe um, not clear deceptive possibly so some of you may have be having some kind of there could be some kind of deceptive energy around you um, or somebody is, you know, possibly doing that to you. But this is a possible um, situation also where you're not really able to connect or somebody in your life is not able to use their intuition. Therefore, they're a little bit in the dark about something possibly, or they just, they need further um, guidance. Somebody needs further guidance. They need further information. What's coming in for you right now, um, and this is in the position of what it is. This is the, the, what you need to pay attention to this month, Virgo, is this card, the Three of Cups in Reverse. Three of Cups in Reverse is saying, um, you know, this is some kind of um, three people or more. Um, could be two people, actually, just two people, you and somebody else. But it could be a group of people. And you guys are not getting along. There's been some jealousy or some, not necessarily has to be jealousy, but People are not getting along. They're, this is not a harmonious relationship. These are not friends getting together and having a good time. This is friends that that, that have been kind of, um, you know, turn the opposite. You know, not 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 having a good time, not not getting along. So there is some kind of disharmony here with three people, um, three people or a group of people. Um, something happened within the group, a group, and you're being told with this card is to focus on this friendship. Why is it like this? Why, you know, what, what's causing the, this, the, the emotional upheaval, upheaval, what's causing this could be the secret. There could be a secret that's looming around that somebody's not telling you. Um, there's some kind of deception within the group and it's causing the friendship to deteriorate. It's causing the friendship to be an emotion, you know, um, what do you call it? You know, dis disharmony. Um, so it's saying to try to focus on this this month. Try to focus on getting to the bottom of it. And um, if you can, you know, and to try to clear this up. If not, you know, either way, it, you know, you, you, you may be cutting somebody out of your life. You may be cutting the friends out of your life. Um, you may be doing this, you know, the Ace of Swords. Some of you are, are cutting people out of your life because there's, there's some kind of deceptions going on. What it is that you guys are th working towards, wanting in your life right now, um, it looks like you're hoping for a beautiful um, spark of passion. You're hoping for a spark of optimism. You're hoping to be re re revitalized, to feel again, to feel some kind of interest and passion towards something. You know that feeling of when you want to start something new? And you really don't even care how much, you know, you, you want to put a bunch of energy into something because you have so much love for it. And you're not even, it's not even about the money or getting to the bottom, the end of the project. It's about enjoying it the whole time through and um, just enjoying the whole process. So right now it looks like you guys don't have a lot of optimism towards something. You're feel, you may be feeling like um, you don't want to put work into something because it's not going to work out. It hasn't worked out in the past. Um, why would it work out now? So some of you are, are wishing to change that uh, attitude within yourself or within somebody around you. This could be somebody else around you that's dragging this negative type of um, attitude. And it could be part of this, these people, somebody within the group that's not cooperating. They're being t way too negative. They're being, they don't want to uh, maybe contribute or they don't want to, you know, um, work towards something because they just don't see how it's going to work out but that's you know not a not a good card so i think you guys are hoping to get a spark and a passion 
and drive towards something in your life or you're hoping for the other person to get a message and a message that will help um you know turn things around again that, that's also what it could be is that you're hoping for a message to come in from you know from the spirit from god from god from your angels from the universe saying to help give like a little push a little boost um of passion um is to help you with some movement the next card we have is the strength in reverse. And this is how you guys may be seeing your situation. Some of you guys may be seeing your situation in regards to a Leo in your life. Um, and this Leo uh, may not be feeling very strong within themselves. They may be feeling a little bit unbalanced and not confident and not able to control their that their emotions and their 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 feelings. Um so it's kind of, it's almost like they're kind of being negative. This also could be a Leo. It also could be somebody in your life that's very negative. This also could be a Leo for sure. Or again, it could be um, none of those things. It could be that this, this is just the energy, but it could be a Leo. If this is, uh, you may be seeing your situation this way where you or somebody else really needs to be able to, con you're, you're, it's somebody that, that's, um, not able to speak up for themselves they're not able to control or control their circumstances and if sometimes when there's a lot of people involved we um we can feel this way like feel as if we don't have a lot of strength to change the situation we don't really have a lot of control right we can can only control ourselves and our feelings and emotions we can't control the other people or the surroundings and i know a lot of virgos would love to do that try to change uh, the, because we want the best for everybody, right? Um, but in this case, somebody may need a little bit of help with encouragement, with some strength in controlling their uh, emotions and their um, themselves, you know, control taking control of themselves. So I think somebody in the group is having a hard time with that. And the next card we have is this beautiful water sign. And this is in your environment, your uh, work, home, friends, family, um, influences of people around you. There's this beautiful water sign here, um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, male or female. This is a very nurturing, loving soul. This is somebody who's stable and they're strong in their emotions. So uh, somebody, you know, whether it's this person in the group or not, this person is extremely positive. Um, there is something very nurturing and loving about this person. This person uh, may be coming forward for, to you this month to give you some um, some nurturing, some um, some beautiful words or support in some way. And the next card we have is the Fool. You guys are hoping for a brand new start, a brand new adventure, a brand new beginning. You're hoping to start something brand new. And I can tell by your cards this month, you guys are. You're going to be starting something new. Um, your dreams are coming true. And it could be uh, a dream you've never obviously done before. So this is a brand new risk. You're hoping for this a new um, beginning to start this month. of um, This month. Oh my gosh. The outcome is the world. Oh gosh. This is great. Oh my gosh. Finally, you guys. The world is here, Virgo. It is finally time for your brand new beginning your brand new beginning these cards go so well together there is a brand new beginning and we have the dream card here which is um in the position of really what's going to be happening so i see that your dreams are going to start happening they're going to start unfolding this doesn't have to be a love relationship but of course it could a lot of you guys are falling and meeting your dream your dream relationship is finally manifesting it's coming true you're meeting the person or um You've met the person or you're going to meet them this month or they're going to meet, you know, this month, this month of August is really important. And um, you guys are ending, ending, ending things, beginning things and having dreams come true. Oh, my gosh, that is so good. And, you know, we do have this courage card along with the strength card. And this is in the position of. Um, because once one is a positive, the other one's negative, meaning not negative. It's just somebody has a lot of strength and somebody does not have a lot, have, have a lot of strength. Um, 
It could be that you, Virgo, are going back and forth within this energy, um, but always the stronger of the energy wins. And this is the positive energy where you're going to be realizing that you do have the courage and you do have um, control of your own emotions and your own self that you are connected to a higher your higher self that you are able to um go with the flow that you are able to um allow yourself to have the strength and the courage to get through a lot so um you could have a lot of courage and there's people around you that may not have a lot of strength this month but i do see it's here I do see it's here for you. The, this energy is really good. It's really, it's here. And you've got this beautiful water sign that's coming in for you. Um, they're just, uh, I just love this. And I love water signs. I love them, love them, love them. Again, this could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So this is a beautiful energy for you. All right, you guys, I do want to pull some clarifying cards for you. I'm going to go ahead and pull uh, a clarifying card for this three of cups. Please provide a clarifying card for Virgo. Why is the three of cups here in reverse? Why do we have the three of cups here in reverse for Virgo? Why is the three of cups in reverse? So this fell out and it was upside down. So, we have the five of cups in reverse. So it looks like somebody did feel there was a breakup or a separation with, with these people. There was some kind of loss that had to do with these people, your friends that turned into enemies or, you know, um, not a good harmonious uh, group of people here. And somebody is, you are getting over any kind of sadness, disappointment that you had regarding this um, disappointment with your friends or the way that they're, they've been acting or um, they've disappointed you with their behavior or you're no longer speaking to them. And so therefore it was a great loss to you because somebody has been cut out. Some, somebody was cut out. Somebody lied. There was some kind of deception, some kind of a little bit of somebody was hiding some information and you're getting over it now. So if this was you, it had to be you because um, you and somebody else, but you are getting over that. You guys, you're over it. You're not bothered by it anymore. That is really good. Um, I'd like to pull a clarifying card for the high priestess in reverse. Why is the high priestess here for Virgo in reverse? What is this high priestess here for? Please provide a clarifying card for the High Priestess for Virgo. All right. We have the Three of Swords in reverse. So you guys, this fell right out of the deck. So Three of Swords in reverse is saying, right, this is somebody who's over a, a heartache. They're over uh, feeling deceived, feeling... Um, cut out feeling um taken advantage of or used or um mistreated somebody and again you know how we've got these three of cups with the you know so some you're getting somebody's getting over this type of deception or misbehaved friends and disappointment and also because this is coupled with the high priestess in reverse, which is appearing that somebody might be hiding something or it could have had to do with, um, somebody could have cheated. Yes. Somebody could have definitely deceived you in love, but it doesn't matter to, if that is the case, you're over it. It's in reverse. You guys, you're over it. Any information you find out about, um, this person right here, if this is a love triangle or a love situation, um, you will be getting the facts and the truth. And you're over any heartache, any disappointment. It doesn't bother you in the least. You guys are all way looking forward to um, this money. 
this stability, this family. This is also real estate and home, by the way. This is real estate. This is a home. A lot of you guys might be coming into um, a home this month. You might be selling a home, buying a home, um, cashing out, getting the money from us, the sale of a home. Um, you guys are getting ready to start a new chapter in your life. You're going to start something new. It's a brand new beginning, a new cycle, and um, you're going forward this month. Okay, guys, congratulations. I'm really happy for you. This is big. Big, 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 big. But whatever this is, it's in the past. It's This is not in the past. This is coming forward to you. This, um, you need to be, the advice is to focus on this, to continue focusing on not even letting it bother you, whatever this whatever this is, was going on here. And this is coming in for you, um, which is you're over any deceptions. You're over any secrets. You're over any mystery that you didn't know about um things are being revealed and um you don't care you're over it it doesn't bother you you're above that energy and um because you got all this good stuff happening and so you're over this low energy you guys you guys have really moved past any low energies okay so stay focused Continue on with your wonderful plans in the future with this amazing new um, stability that you guys are coming into. And I know um, Virgos are an earth sign. Earth, earth signs love financial stability. We love having home, a home, a home, a stable home, feeling stable within our family, our family life, our home life. We don't like change. We like to, you know, nest in our homes and, 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 you know, dig, dig, uh, really deep roots within the home. So good luck with that. You guys are moving into something brand new. Maybe you're starting a new home, a new family, a new relationship. Um, and this is just fantastic. Okay. You guys, I'm so happy. All right. Um, Alana Fairchild. These are the sacred oracle oracle rebel cards. What is the message for Virgo this month of August? What do they need to hear for this beautiful reading? What is the advice or message to give further clarity on the reading? Virgo. Virgo. Here's your card. Inner trust. This is card number two. And it says inner trust. Okay, so I'm going to read it to you. Go within. Trust yourself, right? Okay, so it says, where is it? Though it may be cloaked and hidden within you lies natural manifest ma magnific mag I can't say the word you guys I know you know what I'm trying to say magnificence <laughs> somebody say it for me <laughs> okay vibrancy and truth uniqueness the harder this is for you to believe the more growth this oracle is offering you now the harder, I'm going to repeat that. The harder this is for you to believe, the more growth this oracle is offering you now. Your opportunity for growth lies in letting go of the need to hide yourself from the world. Oh my gosh. And to be let go of any doubt about the wonder of what lies within you. This oracle brings you the message that it is time for you to trust yourself and let the real inner you out from behind the veil. Okay, Virgo, this is the time. This is it for you. This is your like awakening. You're re revealing. It's like your your it's like your new cycle is coming. And I think this is what a lot of Virgos have been waiting for for the last um, five, ten years. Um, some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and 
you know, it doesn't have to be for some of you. It could have just been not that long. Um, this is the time though, you guys to be, to reveal your, your, you know, let the veil pull off your hoodie and show your face and trust in who you are because the universe is giving you a lot of courage right now and strength. Some of you may be a little bit struggling with that, but we, that's why we have both. We have a lot of strength and a, and a lack of strength. This card is saying it's time for you to reveal and let it open, whether you're ready or not, or you feel it. The minute you do that, you are going to have support. Now, remember, this is going to give you, you have some kind of beautiful stability here or relationship, a, a, a dream job, a dream relationship coming to you this month of August, whether it, like I said, it may just be the offerings of it this the beginning of it it could be um and then it's going to unfold over the rest of this year or ba bam immediate marriage immediate relationship i don't know immediate move in i don't know but um this is fantastic regardless whether it's going to be starting or however i'm saying it I, it's not coming out right but i think you guys know what i'm talking about it's go with the flow um Reveal, reveal who you are, you guys. It's time for you to um, finally live in your truth and allow these negative past deceptions leave your life. They're not meant to be in your life. They were never, you know, they're not, that's low energy. You guys have grown above that. And I think that you're finally seeing that you don't have to participate in these low energies just because people are around you and or you know you learned your lesson from this or whatever you needed to do and you're above it you're, you're you're moving on to higher vibrational energy and the universe is supporting you it's all coming in for you 